Price Thank you. 
I want to preach now. I have all the message, you know, because you ladies and gentlemen over there. Very well, message to the Lord. I I have a lot of messages that come down from heaven. And you swear you about to be able to pray for the Lord only, sir? Ah, it's in my heart. And you tell me to read it, sir? But I have only promised uh, this young man named Nephil Bird. And you might say, Nephil, but name, you are going to be you are going to be you are going to be promised for you, sir? He has done so that he won't speak. He will just sing, you know. He has done his, uh, his MD for Master of Divinity from Southern Asia Bible College, Bangalore. And you want to say MBA Bangalore Bataborn? MDF, MDF. MDF Bangalore Bataborn Boyko. Theoretical studies. And you say theoretical Parayo Luncha. And the Lord has called him. And you promise you want to belong to Boyko, sir? And this young man, God has given him, him with a talent. And you promise you want to have the Torah in Boyko, sir? He has never kept that talent in the corner, but he has used it. Okay, praise the Lord. So, <laughs> as Pastor said, so I'm so glad to be here in your church. So, this is the second time for me. But uh, five years back, before I go to college, I was there in Rampu. So, <laughs> so it's a good time for me to be here. So, uh, you 
know, as Pastor said, like uh, most of the young people nowadays get influenced through YouTube channel, right? <laughs> So, uh, before I go to college, I spend most of the time in the worship, spending time almost in one room, and God is giving me, giving me so many songs so I can do it. <laughs> So, uh, this is the song number 49. So, it's present. Before I, before I sing, just let me uh, share a few, few words. Because, like, you know, uh, before I was not here with the Church of Jesus Christ, I was, you know, with, pers- with my dad in Presbyterian Church. Um, Presbyterian Church. Okay. So, when I was in 10 standard, he left us and he get another wife. So it's a, you know, it's a challenge for us. Where will we go? Because without father. But one thing that we have, that it, our God is great. A God is a good father into your life. Amen? So I'm blessed, you know, to be the members of the Church of Jesus Christ in Shillong as well. <laughs> the, the song also talks about like, Lord, you are a mighty God. I give all my life to you. With all my heart, I do. I praise your name forever. <laughs> okay, you can read. Lord, you are a mighty God. Okay, thank you so much. I'll sing a song. Oh, 
something that was written you know when i was in bangalore you know in that in that uh, secretariat in bangalore they wrote there in front of the office work is worship yes work is worship you just don't do just because to want to get your salary get your money no you do that as a worship unto God. So, so back to David. David, he did really enjoy doing that. And also he wanted to give that, you know, that worship, that song, that adoration, that expression of his love unto his God. And he sang many songs. He wrote many songs there you'll find in the book of Psalms. He wrote that, that Psalm 95. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before the Lord God, our, our Maker. God is so pleased with David. That's why the Bible says, that's why the Bible says, he is a man after God's own heart. You know, when you know how to worship God, you, you will see that God will take care of all of your needs. We were talking here, we had a committee with the leaders of this church, the executive committee. I, you know, I'm enjoying, but also I'm thinking about you because we want to have church. We came for church. <laughs> I, told Pastor, I told Pastor Amos, I will hear what all the, the leaders said. I will hear it from you so that I can, I can take it back. There are concerns and challenges here in this church. Your church challenges Anyone, anyone that works with the Lord, there's always challenge. You check your Bible right from the book of Genesis to the book of Revelation. You'll find men and women of God, they always have challenges with them. So, no, no worries, no worries. Why? Because God is always there to meet all your needs. Build this presence of the Lord in this church. Let God come and inhabit time and time again. When God comes, when He came down, we saw He did wonders. I'll share to you an instant in the Bible. I love, you know, the I love Jehoshaphat. He is a righteous king, the Bible said. He is a king of the kingdom of Judah. You will find that in 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Read the whole chapter tonight when you get back home. Beautiful stories, so many things that the Lord will bless you and speak to you. Again, King Jehoshaphat, he encountered with a problem, with a challenge. 
The people of Judah, they were surrounded by three enemies. They are the enemies, they are the Ammonites. The Moabites and the people from Mount Seir. The Ammonites. The Moabites and the people from Mount Seir. So Judah was surrounded. He said, what shall we do? Because these three enemies, they have large armies. They have a lot of weapons. So when he look at his own people, you know that we will surely die. But as I've said, he was a righteous king. See, it is very important that you have righteous leaders in your church. Righteous leaders always do the right thing. Joshford was that. Because he was righteous. He went to the Lord. He did not go anywhere. He, he would have gone to witches or to anyone who do all those things, you know, to get the answer. He never searched help from anyone. But he went to his God. Oh God, what shall I do? This is my challenge. This is the challenge of my people. These enemies are surrounding us. We will die. We might not die by their weapons, but we might die hungry and thirsty here. They were, they were surrounded, they were, they were in the siege. But when he went to the Lord, see, when you go to the Lord, the Lord will all, always answer you. You have to believe in your prayers, I said. If you don't believe in your prayer, don't pray. Why should you pray when you don't believe? Why should you waste your time? But here was King Joshua. He went before God and prayed unto him. But when God answered, he answered something like even Joshua could not even think of that answer which God gave to him. Maybe he was thinking that God will, uh, will give some weapons from anywhere, from heaven or from anywhere, so that he'll go with that weapon and then fight and then kill his enemies. But this answer and this weapon that God gave Jeho King Jehoshaphat, it was something very different. He couldn't believe what he heard. In spite of those enemies that surrounded him, God, God never said anything except he said this. Is it Joshua? Bring the singers. Bring the singers. Not bring the soldiers, strong men, but bring the singers. Put the singers in the front. People might be crazy, look at the king, oh my God. 
We have to fight. We need weapons. And he is asking to bring singers, not not weapons. अनि मान्छेले देख्दै गर्दा छक्कै परे अरे यो राजा त पागल भयो के हो हात हतियार ल्याउने कुरा गर्दैन तर सिंगर्स गीत गाउनेले ल्याउनु भन्दै छ इट वाज ओन्ली लेटर दैट ही अंडरस्टुड दैट दिस दैट दिस सॉन्ग दैट गॉड गिव इट वाज वेपन्स फर देम अनि उस उनाले यो कुरा बादमा बुझे कि यो गाना नै परमेश्वरको परमेश्वरले दिनु भएको हतियार थियो गॉड सेड ओके ब्रिंग द सिंगर्स इमेजिन दे सिंग दैट सॉन्ग सोचनुस वाले यो गीत गाउँदै थिए द लर्ड इज गुड एन्ड हिज मर्सी इन्ड्यूर्स फरएभर परमेश्वर चाहिँ असल हुनुहुन्छ अनि उहाँको कृपा चाहिँ सदा रहन्छ बट व्हेन दे लुक अराउंड देम दे आर ऑल एनिमीज तर जब उनीहरूले यसरी उडिपरि हेरे सबै ठाउँ शत्रु थियो आई सेड दे वर एट अ पॉइंट अफ डाइंग उनीहरू त मर्ने अवस्थामा थियो बट दे दे नेभर लुक अगेन टू द एनिमीज तर उहाँहरूले त्यो शत्रुहरूलाई फेरि हेरेनन् दे दे गिव वर्शिप एन्ड सिंगिंग अनटु गॉड वाले आराधना परमेश्वर ने दीने रहे सी दैट इज समथिंग अ सीक्रेट दैट यू शुड लर्न यो चाहिँ तपाईहरुले सिक्नु पर्ने सिक्रेट हो व्हेन यू आर इन प्रॉब्लम्स यदि तपाई समस्यामा हुनु मन छ भने डोन्ट फोकस टु दोस प्रॉब्लम्स दैट यू फेस तपाईले त्यो समस्याले नहेर्नुस् ऑलवेज फोकस इन गॉड तपाईको फोकस चाहिँ परमेश्वरमा हुनु पर्छ ओला थ्यांक यू आई थ्यांक यू आई वर्शिप यू ओ यू आर माय गॉड परमेश्वर म तपाईलाई धन्यवाद दिन्छु तपाई मेरो परमेश्वर हुनुहुन्छ आई एक्सोल्ड दी म तपाईलाई उचाली रहन्छु माय गॉड दोस प्रॉब्लम्स दोस एनिमीज दे विल बी इन कन्फ्युजन व्हाट्स हैपनिंग हियर त्यो समस्या त्यो शत्रु रे हेर्दै गर्दा हामी त कन्फ्युज हुन्छ अरे के हुन्छ दैट इज व्हाट हैपन यु नो विथ दोस थ्री एनिमीज थ्री ग्रुप्स ऑफ एनिमीज अनि यही कुरा चाहिँ त्यो शत्रुहरुमा भयो उनाले घेरिरहे थियो अनि उनाले हेरेर भन्दैछ अरे के हुन्छ द पीपल अफ जुडा नाउ दे सिंगिंग द लॉर्ड ओ फॉर योर लव इन योर्स फरएवर योर लव इन योर्स फरएवर अनि त्यो योदाको मानिसहरु चाहिँ गाइ नै रहे थियो परमेश्वर तपाईको माया सदा सर्वदा रहन्छ तपाईको माया सदा सर्वदा रहन्छ गॉड डिड समथिंग इवन एज दे वर वर्शिपिंग हिम उनाले परमेश्वरलाई आराधना दिँदै गर्दाखेरि पनि परमेश्वरले के काम गर्नु हुँदै थियो द बाइबल सेड दैट दीस थ्री एनिमीज दे स्टार्ट किलिंग वन अनदर बाइबलले भन्छ यो तीन जना शत्रुले एक अर्कालाई मार्न थाले दे आर देयर टु किल जुडा उनीहरु त योदालाई मार्न आको बट बिकज जुडा बिलीव इन गॉड तर किनभने योदाले परमेश्वरलाई विश्वास गरे ओ दे फोकस ऑन गॉड एंड जस्ट एन्जॉय ओ आई ऑलमोस्ट डान्स टुनाइट अनि उनीहरुको फोकस चाहिँ परमेश्वरमा भएको कारणले गर्दाखेरि आई वांटेड यू नो टु डान्स बट यू डिडन्ट डान्स म चाहन्थे कि तिमी नाचेको तर तिमी नाचेनौ बिकज व्हेन यू डान्स व्हेन यू एन्जॉय अ प्रेजेन्स यू फर्गेट ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स किनभने जब जसरी तपाई नाच्नु हुन्छ तपाईले आफ्नो सबै समस्या ओ आई बिलीव द पीपल अफ जुडा विल एन्जॉय ओ हालेलुया सॉन्ग वी सिंग अ सॉन्ग अरे यू यू आर अ गुड गॉड एंड योर ग्रेस एंड योर मर्सी एंड योर्स फरएवर अनि त्यो योदाको मान्छेहरु पनि एकदम गाइरहे थियो परमेश्वर तपाई असल हुनुहुन्छ तपाईको कृपा चाहिँ सदा सर्वदा रहन्छ बाइबल सेज बाइबलले भन्छ वन दे किल अनदर एउटाले अर्कोलाई मार्न थाले बाय द टाइम द पीपल अफ जुडा दे फिनिश दिस दे सिंगिंग ओर देयर प्रेज एन्ड वर्शिप टाइम अनि जसरी योदाहरुले आफ्नो गीतहरु सक्यो बाय द टाइम दे दे रियलाइज दैट समथिंग समथिंग इज हैपनिंग आउट देयर अनि जब उनीहरुलाई थाहा भयो वरिपरि के हुँदैछ and when they look around them and it's just you and they hear the story but they didn't see the enemies anymore when they saw through you tabani they cannot they saw dead bodies where all they kill one another they kill and everyone were killed and you know for ori pari che last shuru matra thiyo wow wow that that is what the presence of god can do parmeshwar ko upasthiti le che yo kura garna sakcha oh they run from that place वार त्यो ठाउँ मा त भागे बिकज नाउ दे आर हंग्री दे आर थर्स्टी दे नीड सो मेनी थिंग्स के नाम उनारो भोकाएको छन् उनारो तिरखाएको छन् उनालाई थुप्रै कुरा चाहिएको छ द 
Bible said that they went and plundered all the good that was there with the armies. In the olden days, when, when any army they go to war, they, they carry the food, they carry not only the water, they carry even you know what they have. You, they carry their riches with them. Gold and silver, they carry it with them in the battle. So the people of Judah, they went and plundered not only the food, not only the water, but all this richness. Oh, then they started enjoying. And the Bible said some more. That now they don't want to leave that place. He said, this is the place where the presence of God manifests. So they said, so the Bible said that they remain in the valley of Baraka. They remain in the valley of Baraka. What is, what, what is the meaning of Baraka? Baraka means praise. Baraka means praise. They remain there. They remain there. Because they know that this is how God works. Let COJC Gantok always remain in the place of worship. Because God will come and meet you there all the time. You might be in your homes. You might be in your workplace. You might be anywhere. Let Baraka be with you. Let the presence of God be with you. You'll see the manifestation of God. And you'll see that, okay, oh, the beauty of God. That God is a God who always loves to dwell in the presence, in the uh, he loves to dwell with his people. You become the habitation of God. The God will not go anywhere but will be with you. The Lord said something, Pastor. You'll not be in the same level. God will take you to another level. You have to believe the word. Don't go by what you see. Go by faith. Any challenges, go by faith. Don't try to comprehend with your mind because you will not understand God with your mind. Always, always with the word of God. If you have the word of God and the spirit of God, that's enough. You know, I really enjoy this church. My God, you speak in tongues. Everyone speak in tongues. It's not only from the pulpit, but from everywhere. Oh, I'm the person who always speak in tongues all the time. Because when I speak in tongues, I know it's doing good to me. It's building my faith. I receive anointing. I get, I get that wisdom. There's a spirit of wisdom. You know, you can check Isaiah chapter 11. Let's read. Let's read because I have not read any portion. Let's, let's read that portion. Isaiah 11. Verse 1, 2, and 3. Someone read in English. Someone read in English. I forgot her name. Ritu, read in English. You don't have. Okay. Oh, she has. She has. Okay. You read in English. Isaiah 11, verse 1, 2, 3. And then someone read in Nepali. Okay. Let's hear it in English. 
shall come forth a rod from the steel. Okay, okay, fine. Fine, okay. They shall come forth a rod from the steel of Jesse, mm -hmm. and branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of the wisdom, understanding, the spirit of counsel, and might, the spirit of knowledge, and of the feet of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes, nor decide by the hearing of his ears. Okay, Nepali, Nepali. Someone read. Okay. Anyone? Yes. Shout a little bit. Raise your voice a little bit. Stand up. Stand up so you'll throw your voice. I know you have a good voice. Come on. Praise the Lord, thank you. God wants to give the spirit of wisdom to the church. For me, surely. So when you spend more time in worship, you'll feel like where does wisdom comes? I answer, I answer good thing to people when they come and ask a question to me. Why? Because the Holy Spirit, you know, the spirit, of, the spirit of wisdom is with you now. Then you can start, you know, ministering to people. Then you can start testifying to the people. Then you can bring them to the place where they can worship God. And and when they start worshipping God now because they have understood because of the spirit of wisdom that came from you. They too, they will enjoy just like you worshipping God. When they look at you now, they, oh my God, what happened to these people? But when they plunge themselves there, oh my God, this is also what I understand now. <laughs> so why don't we just stand now? Stand up. We'll sing a song. Worship team, please come up. Come on, worship team, please come up. We'll sing the song, maybe five minutes. I know you have to go home and maybe some of you have not cooked. We will go to a restaurant. Pastor is singing us. Oh, we'll go to his home. Yeah. I know. We have to see. This is very important. We have the spirit of wisdom. You don't linger the service. You don't linger the service. Because that sense of wisdom is there. But we will sing. It's a song that you know or you will know. But we'll all sing this song. But you have to sing it in English. Amen. Amen. Sing it in English. English song. Oh, it's very easy song. It goes like this. Come on, play. Come on, play. Oh, yeah, that's good. Otherwise, you'll kick my water. Give that chord just now. You give. Yes, yes. Give with a G. Yes, with a G. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah, 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 praise One more time. Praise Isn't isn't 
that good? What is the meaning of hallelujah? What is the meaning of hallelujah? It's praise the Lord. When you sing hallelujah, it means praise the Lord. Come on, you, you follow after me first. Follow after me. Say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Okay, one more time. One more time, we'll go only hallelujah. Uh, one, two, three. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise Him. Oh, you're doing good. One more time. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise Him. One more time. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise Him. We'll go praise Him, the Lord. Praise Him. The Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord, come on, hallelujah, 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 praise ye, praise ye the Lord, praise. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May God bless you. May, may God keep you. May God shine his face on each one of you. May God give you wisdom. Knowledge. Understanding. Anointing, healing, and riches. You will be blessed. You will be blessed financially. Because, because you are the children of, of, of purpose. He will bless you in your workplace. He will bless your family. Because you are his people. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Everybody say Amen. 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 Please be seated.